Hey again, guys. So now that we have reviewed our plan on how we want to design our soil moisture meter, I thought it would help to review the four coding skills you learned last session, which you will need in order to write code for a micro bit so that it can measure the amount of moisture in the soil. The first skill you learned was using block-based coding to display something on the micro bits LED screen. We can use the display in a variety of ways to display things like icons, numbers, words, and even graphs. The second skill you learned was how to use inputs to create outputs. A micro bit can get information from many forms of inputs, such as pressing a button, taking information from a sensor, such as a temperature sensor, or even using the pins. We can code the micro bit so that when it receives information from an input, it will do something specific, or what we call an output. For us, we usually want the micro bit to produce an output by displaying something on the LED screen. The icons, numbers, words, and even graphs we produce are all outputs in our system. The third skill we practice was using conditional statements in our code. Conditional statements typically follow a format of if I do something, then something else will happen. Conditional statements are extremely useful when you want the micro bit to do something only when a specific input is given. For example, if I want the micro bit to show one image to start and then show something different if a button is pushed, I'd use a conditional statement in my code. The fourth skill was creating a variable. A variable helps a computer remember information to use again and again. Using variables helps limit the amount of times you would have to write out complicated code. In addition to all of that, you learned one additional trick. You practiced using the math blocks to perform multiplication and addition so that you could convert the temperature in Celsius to the temperature in Fahrenheit. That's one last skill that you might need to use to write code for the soil moisture meter. Before you get started thinking about how to code your micro bit, spend a few minutes reviewing these skills on your own and thinking about what each one can help us do. When you move on to the next slide, you'll be asked to use your field notebook so that you can review these skills. When you're done, move on and we'll get started with coding our soil moisture sensor.